Welcome. This is the grade eight math practice test for TN Ready. Question number six of this version. A triangle has vertices R1, 2, S is at 3, 3, and T is at point negative 3, 4. The triangle will be reflected over the X axis. So I'm just going to make a little, and I would imagine that this is going to be terribly drawn. Not too bad. Um, I probably should have done it thinner, so let me go back and fix that. This is the x-axis. So that's my point of reflection. A reflection is where you essentially make a point that's the same, that's equidistant from the axis of symmetry, just on the opposite side. So uh, I need to, on the coordinate plane, it's going to reflect over the x-axis on the coordinate plane shown, create r prime, s prime, t prime, the image of triangle RST. Image is a term that means the f uh, figure after you've performed the transformation. And the f transformation in this case is a reflection. So the first thing I'm going to do is make individual points. This is r, right? No, what? <laughs> That's not it. What I'm going to do is do this so I don't make that same mistake again. By the way, I've taught math for years, and I still make a mistake on that every once in a while because you just get in the middle of it. So just remind yourself that, okay, the first one is the x, so I need to go on the x-axis to find 1, and then I need to find 2. And this is where the generic version, this is where the original version of this triangle is going to be. For s, it's 3 and 3, and t is negative 3 and 4. So this is what the original... graph will look like. It's R, S, T. That's not what you're supposed to draw in here. You're supposed to draw the reflection. I just wanted to show you where it was. Now, so I don't make that kind of mistake, I'm going to make a small little piddly dot there and not mark it. Now, my reflection means I need to go figure out how far away this is from the x-axis. Fortunately, we're going over a major axis, so it's pretty easy. 1, 2. So to reflect it, I just need to go 1, 2 down here and make my new point. And that new point's value is r prime. For s, I'm at 3 and 3. So 1, 2, 3. So 1, 2, 3. So right here. And that will be s prime. And t's value is at negative 3 and 4. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. So there it is. That's a, what the reflection, that's the image of our ST or triangle RST. That's um, our prime S prime T prime. Now, you may have noticed me do a few things there that you may not do yourself, or you may, I don't know. But for instance, I would make the dots and draw them. I would draw a line at the x-axis first before I did anything. Even this xy thing, it all sort of seems ridiculous, and it would make you think that I'd only do that to show it on here. But honestly, if I was doing them, I'd probably do them that way too. Or if I didn't do them that way, I was just looking to make a mistake. I've learned over time just to be super careful. It doesn't take that long to be super careful, by the way. Um, and get this question correct. One thing that you should notice is that the y or the x values didn't actually change at all. This is still at x of 3, it's just at negative 3. This is still at 1, it's just at negative 2. And this is still at negative 3, it's at 4. Well, we reflected it over the x-axis, so the x values don't actually change. It's only the y values that change. But since you don't have to do it without having the graph there, you can just go ahead and graph it over, and it makes it really easy. So be careful. Don't make little mistakes uh, that could cost you the question. Beat the people who make the test simply by at their own game as opposed to complaining about having to take the test in the first place.